Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your host, the Tiger Man, and we are back here on the Sim Den right now. Something exciting is going down. We've got the Steam Next Fest, and there's lots of demos for up-and-coming simulators. We are going to showcase one right here on the channel right now, the Bizarre Simulator Demo. Let's check this out, ladies and gentlemen. News. Hello, market vendors. Welcome to Bizarre Simulator Multiplayer Demo. In this demo, you can try out multiplayer features and trade with your friends in a fun and lively market. The dem demo is limited to two players. The player limit will be increased in the full version. Your feedback is very important to us. By sharing your thoughts, you can help improve the game. After the demo, we'll prepare a full version based on your feedback. Join the market and let us know what you think. Enjoy the game. Mithra Interactive. Okay, okay. So, it does say, blatantly state that this is a multiplayer game. I'm going to try it solo and see if I can play it one player. Not sure if that's going to work, but we are going to try that. I did not know that... Um, this was a multiplayer type game. There's one that I could tell you to stay away from. I just played it right now. It's called uh, Drive Through. The name of the game is Drive Through. And it is so wonky. I cooked hamburger patties. Put them on this tray that was below the hamburger patty grill, mind you. And I could not pick them back up off the tray to use them. They were just stuck in limbo. And then it wanted me to order more ingredients. So I needed more hamburger patties. I needed more buns. I ordered them. I could not figure out how to get them out of the box. In the process, I threw the box on the ground. All the patties went everywhere all over the floor. And I could not pick the patties up off the floor. No. Boom. I just erased that out of my memory. That 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 is a hot mess. I would rate it one star. It's unplayable. I don't even know what you're supposed to do in it. Um, so, But let's get into this one here. As per usual, we will check the uh, settings. It's got the graphics on very low. Come on, bro. Don't downgrade my graphics card like that. We playing on Ultra, baby. Ultra. And they already got it set for my uh, monitor, 2564 T40, 165. Y'all know what's up. Most of the time, they will default it to a 60 hertz refresh rate. Um, if the company is going to automatically default you to 60 hertz instead of the 165 that your monitor can do or 125, whatever the hertz is on y'all's monitor, that tells me that uh, there's issues if you try to go a little bit higher on the uh, uh, FPS. So we got all that set. Um, where's the volume? Oh, right here. So I'm going to have the effect volume all the way up. I'm going to turn the music down just a hair. That way it doesn't affect uh, me talking. So we're going to go to this slot one new. Okay. Here's my character. Interesting, it's taking my, uh, it's taking one of my screen names instead of my actual name. Is there a way to change the name? There is not. I don't know where they grabbed this name from, but that is not my Steam name at all, period. That is actually, uh, my email address at gmail.com. Wow, okay. They want me to pick an apron color. Uh, white looks like it's clicked here, but his apron is clearly like a black color. Yeah, his apron was black. Ladies and gentlemen, at first I thought that was white. Look, here's blue, right? Blue. Bluer than blue. Blue is blue can be black. Looks black like the shirt. Gray. That looks a little bit lighter than black. Okay, green. Now that is like a bluish sea green. That's not green green to me. That's like a bluish sea green. These blues are slightly different. Look at red. Nah. Nah, nah y'all tripping. That ain't red. 
to me, red is like bright red, bright red, in your face red, blue, bloom. Uh, what's going to attract my customers more? Uh, definitely not green. I think we go with this gray right here. That looks nice. Okay, I am going to be a male. Uh, shape and clothes, you cannot change it. But you can change to be a male or a female. Uh, the female looks kind of weird. They should have put, put some hair on the female. Uh, we're going to go with the male because I don't like the way the female looks. So if you're one of those uh, men like me, okay, by the way, I don't play female characters in a game. Uh, I'm not yearning to be a female. I didn't wish I was a female. And I'm not trying to... Uh, be anything that I'm not. I'm a man, okay? So I'm going to play a man character in this game. Okay, what's going down? Tutorial. Head to the cart and press the left mouse button to open the wholesale market. Then order a crate of lemons. Okay, so where's said cart? I'm just moving the mouse around, see how everything looks. We can walk up and down the street. How far can we walk down the street? There's a pallet, sir. You need to have this pallet on the floor. Okay, any warehouse job that I worked, you got a pallet standing up like that. OSHA walks in. It's a $10,000 fine for a pallet standing upright inside a warehouse. So, you got books thrown around everywhere. Clothing, can I go up in this? Is knock, knock. Anybody home? Anybody home? I'm trying to shop in here, man. It's cool that they got this all set up. How they got this set up. The girl in red. Okay. The king of drugs. Wow, interesting. What's this other book down here? Independent woman. Sugar run. Uh, hypocrite world. Okay, okay. Buy two, take three. That's not a bad deal. Buy two books and take three free? Come on. I wish y'all would play with me like that. Amara the Brave. Uh, I can't read that one unless I... Oh, Independent Woman. I was going to see if I could squad down. I could read that one. So, right off the bat, um, your demo made it sound like this was an old school... Uh, like looking like back in the day type simulator where you bartered with uh, weights and stuff like that for payments. And some of this stuff looks modern. They definitely did not have paperback books back then. So that's definitely out of place. That's as far as you can go down the block. Okay, most uh, simulator games do have a limit of how far down the block you can walk. And that was the limit right there. So... I'm going to assume that this is my stall. Okay. Here's my weights that I put on the scale here. I weigh my product I'm selling here with whatever weight is here. And that tells me what to charge the customer. Okay. We got a money tray here. That's cool. Uh, but let's go to the truck. All right. We're going to left mouse click. And we're going to order a uh, pack of lemons. We do have $30. And how do we check out? Buy now. $5.08. Boom. All right. We got the lemons. There they are. I'm going to take those up. And we're going to open the lemons. And let me get in front of this a little more so that I don't spill them on the ground. It's T2. Okay. Okay. Throw the empty crates into the bin. Into what bin? This bin? This bin. The one with the uh, exclamation point. Okay, it has to be a certain bin. Click the price tag on the market stall to set the price for the lemons. Okay, let's go around the front here. Get to the uh, lemon price tag. Uh... 
Market price two dollars. Average cost ninety five cents. Price. We're going to set that at $2.25. Press enter to open the market. You need to do this action every day so you can start the day. Enter key. Wait for my first customer. Here they come. Well, there's people spawning into the world. They're just spawning right up, baby. Look at that. Not near me, though. They're not coming down this way. First, grab the scale bull. Okay. Weigh the products on the scale and the amount requested by the customer. Point fifty kilograms. I think I got too many lemons. I still have too many. Still too many. It has to be even. Okay, I think this is right. So, let's see, I received 50. Dollar thirty. wait, what? These lemons are 225 a piece, a pound? I don't know how that works. 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, Okay, how did that work? I think we're losing money here. One more. All right. Oh, the bags are down here. That's right. Took his money. How do I give the change back? Oh, right here. You got to click the money bowl. So we owe this man 10, 15, 1888. Everything in the 88s is what it's looking like.
Here comes another customer. 0.50 kilograms. So we decided that was how many lemons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lemons. It's doing everything in 88 cents on here. That's weird. Total profit, uh, minus $2.90. Okay, it wants me to open again, so we look at the scale, we press the enter key to open, and we're open for business. So it looks like you're getting a total of three customers per day. That's kind of odd. Okay, what does this guy want? He wants one kilogram worth. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to say 16 is one kilogram. That's correct. All right, we owe this man seven seventy five. There you go, sir. Have a nice day. Come again. Welcome into the bazaar, ladies and gentlemen. We are just a common street vendor. All right, so we're going to grab eight lemons. Take your money, sir. We're going to give you 888 back. I need to order more uh, add to carts. Hold on, sir. I had to restock my lemons. Y'all are buying me out of house and home over here. This guy wants one kilograms worth, so we're going to put that back. We're going to get a 1kg. And... Sixteen. I don't even know why I'm weighing it. I know exactly how many it is now. All right, we owe you uh, 275. There you go, sir. Have a nice day. Step right up to my lemon shop, ladies and gentlemen. I got the sourest lemons in the land. Looks like we're making profit today. This guy wants 50 kilograms worth, so we're going to go... Let's see if I can do it without weighing them. I can. So once you figure out what, uh, how many 
is for what weights. You don't have to weigh anything at all unless you just want to make it authentic. One kilogram, so you need 16 lemons. Boom. Two seventy five back. We got two more sales until we hit our quest goal. Tutorial goal. All right, we got one more customer, so he's going to want eight lemons. And we hit level three, ladies and gentlemen. There is levels in this game as well. That's nice to see. Always nice to have a goal rather than just freestyling stuff. All right, we're going to start the next day. So total profit was $2.24, ladies and gentlemen. What is Bill? I got my rent here. That's okay. Rent was $1. That ain't bad. Uh, supply expenses because we bought a box of lemons. Our income was eleven twenty-five. But what is bill? Bill for two ninety-five. What's a bill? I don't know. Bizarre level plus two. Happy customers plus seven. Bizarre experience plus two fifty-four point four two. Whatever all that means, I'm not too sure. Uh, we need more lemons though. Oh. How do I get another stall? $50 for a market stall. Alright, so we're just going to have to keep pumping out lemons for now. Oh, I thought I started a new day, but sh I remember you got to look at the scale and press enter. Okay, so the blinking lights was this awning coming down, and that means you're open for business. So what I want to do is I want to get through the day here. Okay, I'm not going to purchase any more lemons. Plan is we're going to sell through the lemons. And then we're going to buy some bell peppers and see if we can make even more money. So we already know that he needs eight lemons. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can count them through the bag if you're unsure. All right, he needs 888 back. Boom, out the door. Step right up, order like 50 lemons. I'm cool with it. Uh, you need eight, sir. Boom. If you're ever unsure, count them through the bag. That is A-OK. -okay. 1888 change. Boom, you're out the door, sir. Come on, lady, buy some lemons. Here we go. This guy wants eight lemons. Did I get enough? No, I need one more. There we go. 
There you go, sir. So it really depends on how many customers... Uh, the number of customers you have really depends on your speed as far as uh, checking customers out. Which I am getting pretty uh, proficient at that now. Here comes a lady. She wants uh, 50 kilograms worth. Boom. Eight lemons for you, lady. Give me your change. We're going to give you 1888 back. Getting your speed uh, depends on how fast you can give change back to a customer. That's what I'm seeing here. Since it's not a traditional cash register and you're like taking money out of your belt so to say you get pretty proficient at it though this little change bowl is a nice uh nice add there 50 kilograms worth yes sir boom Got to make sure you look right at the customer. Otherwise, it doesn't give him the lemons. 50 kilograms. Yes, ma'am. Eight lemons for you. Oh. Duh. You need 16 lemons. Ooh. Can I do 14 and get away with it? Trying to close up shop. Okay. Enter key to end the day. Profits were 285. And now for the next day, we're going to try out some of these peppers. 1166 for a crate of peppers. We're going to buy those. And we're going to see how we do selling the uh, crate of peppers. We got to price these dudes up. Market price is four fifty, so I think I want to go six dollars. Uh, open for business. Let's see how many customers we get off that price. Now we're going to have to weigh these up because I'm not sure the weight on the uh, peppers. She wants one kilogram worth. One kilogram is four peppers. All right. One kilogram is four peppers. The so point fifty is two peppers. Two kilograms is eight peppers. 
All right, so you need two peppers. It's three. Okay. Five? Okay, five. So three and five. We got that in our brain now. Alright, so I need five peppers. What? Wait. Why does it keep going up in how many peppers I need? That doesn't make sense. Man, we're making profit like a mug, though. We're back up to $48 already off these peppers. And we were down at $26. $0.50, so we need... Okay, so that's three, so six would be uh, a kilogram. Okay, okay. All right, we got this down pat now. I'm step right up, get my bell peppers, ladies and gentlemen. Freshest in the area, in the market. I need three peppers for the young lady. Yes, ma'am. $47 change. Big spender. Sheesh. We're almost level 5, ladies and gentlemen. I think level 5 might unlock the pairs, but I'm not sure because when you go to the truck to see what you can buy, it doesn't actually tell you how to unlock stuff like what levels or anything. Okay, she wants a kilogram, so we're going to need six of these dudes. I need more. Let me go to the truck and order these up. Oh, yeah, bizarre level seven is required for the pairs. Okay. Why did that guy say you red bell peppers finished? Not sure on that. Okay, this guy wants a uh, 50 kilograms, so that's going to be three peppers. We already know that. What? Now it's four? Since when did that go up? It's always been three. Y'all y'all have seen me do three. Oh well. Guess I gotta do what's uh do what's right, right? I guess these peppers might be a little smaller or something. I d I don't even know. Okay, we're going to end the day. We had 10 happy customers. Total profit was 1643. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some more peppers for the next day just to have that ready for us. We're going to make the money back anyways. Easy. Easily make the money back. Right, we're stocked to the brim today. We're going to look at our scale to uh, open the shop here. Boom. Step right up. The bazaar is open, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the customers spawning in, eager to buy some peppers. 
I wonder if I could up the price on these. Price just went up, sir, ma'am, sir. Let's test the weight today. Okay, so it is going to be four. All right, price went up and they're paying for it. I wonder how high you can go. I'm going to test that theory out here in just a second. Oh, I hit escape, and now I can't uh, get back into the change bowl. Interesting. Well, this is embarrassing. What do I do here? You have to redo the uh, interesting. We're going to test the waters here. Let's see what happens. $10 a pop. Let's see what happens. Hey, let's go. Can't go that high. All right, so we need we need eight. We know that for a fact. Uh, two seventy-five change. Boom! Come again, ma'am. Another eight coming out the door. There you go, sir. Let me take your money and get your change. Two seventy five back. They're not very expensive. Get out of here. I got people buying them all day long. Here you go, sir. Oops. Got to put one back. I gave you one too many there. Let's see. Five, six. Six thirty-eight, sir. Come again. Have a nice day. Look, twins. Twinsies. I wish I owned that stall across the street. That would be cool. Nah, they're not very expensive. Come on, I've been selling them all day, bro. Alright, we're going to get a pack of eight here. And we're 
we're giving you back 275. We're going to end our day and we made $21 profit, ladies and gentlemen. Three unhappy customers. Okay, so if you do price your items too high and um, they come and say that your items are very expensive, then they're not going to buy your uh, supplies. So that's unfortunate. I do need more bell peppers though. And I'm going to price them a little bit lower. I'm not sure what having unhappy customers does for you uh, as far as the game mechanics go because there's really uh, nothing that docked my scores or anything like that or, or made an unhappy face. I don't know. So, all right, let's ap appease the masses and see if 625 is like the max we could do. Let's enter, enter to open the shop for the day. I'm trying to get to level 7 so that I can see what the pairs are like before I end the uh, video here. Alright, so you need 8 bell peppers, sir. My goal for today is to get people in and out as fast as possible so that I can maximize my profits. Okay, you need eight. Boom. Boom. Take the money. Boom. He's dabbing me. Dabbing me up. Boom. You're out the door. Thank you. Come again, sir. No unhappy customers today. I found the medium happy price, uh, six dollars and twenty-five cents. Twinsies, triplets. There's a there's a pack of triplets coming. Quadruplets, if you count the guy back there. One of y'all's gonna buy my lemon, my bell peppers, right? Oh, here we go. Eight pack for you, sir. Boom. I'll keep buying eight packs. I'm going to have to restock before the day is over. All right. Giving change back isn't so hard in this game. We, we kind of got that down. Another eight pack. You're all buying eight packs. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we got eight. Boom, you're out the door, sir. Thank you. Come again. Come into my stall, ladies and gentlemen. We got the freshest bell peppers in the south, ladies and gentlemen. These will cook up real nicely. They'll be uh, good on fajitas. Slice them up. Get a little color in your life. If I had yellow and green, I would sell those as well. That way you can get a variety on your fajitas. But I do not have those colors. I do apologize. Four peppers for this young lady. We're going to give you back 20, 40, 5, 6. 4688 is your change, ma'am. Thank you. Come again. Fresh peppers, come and get your fresh peppers. Fresh peppers, sir. Yes, sir. Gonna get an eight pack from me. Boom. Boom. Uh, take your money, give your change. Boom. I'm going to need more pepper soon. I've got enough for one more eight pack. Okay, you want a four pack. All right.
Here comes a guy. Hopefully you only want a four pack. They're not finished. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an unhappy customer just then. I'm going to have to order more bell peppers. Tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, so you can uh, right mouse click to take money away. I did not know that. I'm trying to wait until my day ends, okay? Enter to end the day. We made a $26 profit and we had zero unhappy customers. So, finishing the day um, does not get you an unhappy customer. And you can't throw your uh, products away. I was just testing the waters. We just hit level 6, right? Yeah, we sure did. So I'm actually going to end it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is your first look at the Bizarre uh, Traders demo. A bizarre Simulator. So you can buy other stalls for $50. I'm interested to see what type of products they're going to add here. I know in the video for the demo they showed fish. And you were like cutting the fish up and stuff like that. That'll be cool to get into some stuff like that. Just make it like an old school, like you're just on the street uh, peddling your wares on the street. So I do like this game. I can recommend this to other people. And it's an interesting concept here. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, the Bizarre Simulator Demo. I'm your boy, the Tiger Man, over here at the Sim Den. And y'all have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen.